Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren and in today's video we're going to be discussing Tesla stock and addressing this most recent crash with Tesla and also discussing the topic of a pullback and the potential of a further pullback over these next couple of days or next couple of weeks. So of course, as always, if you enjoyed the Tesla videos, please make sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out. But just getting into this specific topic for today, I do want to say that along with just the crash alone with today with a, a minus 12% drop, earlier it was around minus 14%, but it went up a little bit in after hours since then even aside from the big drop today I have noticed that the panic is starting to set in for some people there's a lot of fear being spread about the general stock market there's people saying they've sold Tesla stock at big losses or that they're trying to sell it right now and buy it at a lower price in the future and you all know how I feel about that I'm not a big fan of timing the market I think that's an easy way to learn a lesson and as we know with the stock market when you learn a lesson you also put your money on the line but I just want to emphasize that there is a lot of fear about Tesla stock in the market right now people can say what they want about the valuation and things like that but just from what I've seen from investors discussing the stock and talking about how they've given up on Elon Musk and saying like really crazy things almost like throwing in the towel already just based off of a small 12% drop I just don't think people realize that this isn't that big of a drop it's not that big and yes I understand if you bought it a little bit before all of this downturn with Tesla stock then I can definitely understand if you're a new investor and you finally gave this company a chance and you're actually wanting to invest for the long term and all of a sudden your position goes down significantly especially if you dropped like a, a big number on your Tesla position like if you dropped 100k and it's already down 12% then yeah that's a decent amount you're down $12,000 just on Tesla stock alone and that's right after you just got into the position so I can understand why some people would be a little bit worried or concerned or uncertain at that point however if you have that long-term vision in the first place when you purchased it then today's movements and yesterday's movements should have no bearing on your actual purchasing and selling decisions unless something fundamental has changed about the company that you just don't see positive aspects in in terms of your actual investment. So in my opinion, unless something has fundamentally changed for Tesla stock, which there hasn't, then there's no reason to be selling this stock even at a minus 12% drop. Like I said, this is nothing. We've had a 20% drop in one day and there was plenty of people telling me that I should sell and that Tesla was going down to $100. And of course, I bought more on that day and it bounced back up and we're still getting a little bit near that most recent low point I think on September 8th at 3.30 but still I had plenty of people saying you better sell right now you're going to lose everything and obviously I ignored that and I bought more of the stock and then it went up because of the battery day hype and now it's starting to go back down as well and so in this video I just want to address could we be seeing a further pullback in the future more days like today possibly and so I just wanted to preface this video discussing the fact that I have seen a lot of fear in the market for Tesla stock right now, which is pretty strange considering that this is a very hyped stock. When you think about stocks in the stock market, Tesla is usually one of the first ones that people would name just because it's so popular. But still, today has shown that a lot of people have gotten in Tesla stock that were just not long-term investors. Whether they thought they were or whether they knew they weren't, they clearly aren't long-term investors if they're already selling Tesla stock. And I think this is going to be something in the future that people look back on and just say, well, wow, I made a bad decision there. If I would have just held for the long term and not stressed about it in the meantime and separated my emotions from the market, then this would have made me a lot of money. Now, that's just my personal opinion. Nothing that I say or have said in this video is to be considered financial advice. But basically, I'm just seeing a lot of unnecessary fear in the market right now. And the only reasoning that I can find for why people would be so fearful would be that they just didn't do enough research in the first place to actually buy this stock. Because if you did your research and you know a lot of information about the company and its future, then you're going to have a lot of conviction when you initially make that first purchase and when you continue to add to your position. But if you don't
don't do all of that and if you just trust what somebody else says or just jump on the hype wave then sometimes that doesn't end very well because you have a situation like today where someone like myself and long-term investors it's just business as usual and there's really not a big deal at all here unless you're just buying more and, and taking advantage of this discount but for those investors that don't have the conviction like I do and a lot of these long-term investors then it's going to be a lot harder for them to hold on to these shares when they're losing money especially if they bought it near the peak where they're down significantly probably where we had a red day yesterday and a red day today so for those investors that really just didn't go head first diving into a lot of research for Tesla stock before actually buying it then we're gonna have a lot of weaker hands with Tesla for a while at least as we start to get this little bit of a correction a little bit of a pullback and so the interesting thing about this is there's not really a lot of catalysts going on for Tesla right now at least up until the Q3 earnings report which I think they will beat expectations but that's like a month away I think if we check here it's like on October 21st if we take a look at it so Q3 of 2020 that is October 21st so yeah we have about a month from now in which the stock can go anywhere it wants to go and depending on how many people are fearful and depending on how many people are taking advantage of the sale then that will determine the direction of this share price in the future and also just the trend of the general stock market as well is going to play a big role in the changes in the value of Tesla shares in my opinion also so just keep that in mind we have two different factors going on here we have the general stock market movement and we all know when the general stock market moves down and when you have like a watch list just full of red Tesla tends to be one of those that struggles the most in which it has like the larger drops Nvidia has been one of those recently that we've seen with that as well but even Nvidia is not comparable to Tesla today but I'm actually satisfied with a day like today not only because it's an opportunity and it's a red day where people can actually buy Tesla stock on a discount but a day like today is very healthy for the stock because it gets these investors with weak hands out of here those investors that just cannot hold on to the stock and can't handle the simple volatility of Tesla it gets them out of the equation and so considering that that results in a larger amount of long-term investors holding shares of Tesla even if that means the share price has to go down in the meantime I'm honestly okay with that because this is healthy to have pullbacks like these in the sense that it keeps these weak investors out it keeps out the quick money investors once they learn their lesson and realize they can't trade Tesla on a weekly basis and make a ridiculous amount of money of course you could do that and some people have done that but on a consistent basis not so much so that's where the advantage of long-term investing is so you're either going to have a bunch of people just selling off because they have weak hands and they didn't actually believe in the company or this is actually going to result in possibly short-term investors holding Tesla long-term and realizing the advantages of holding this company long-term and possibly continuing to do so so I see a lot of things happening just out of these pullback events and just addressing the question of whether I think a pullback is going to continue for Tesla like I said over this next month until we have this quarter three earnings announcement then I wouldn't be surprised if we see a continued pullback and we'll obviously have some green days as well unless we just have like another general downturn where the stock market crashes in general but there will be some green days spread in here as well but I think we could see more of a decline in the share value in the future over this next month and possibly some volatility as well as we know the stock might plateau a little bit like it has done in the past like especially in I believe June so it plateaued from June 10th all the way to like June 26th right here and we've seen this happen with like July 10th all the way until August 11th so as we know in the past things take time especially when we hit this peak on February 4th all the way up until this point at like February 21st so there's a lot of points in time where Tesla just requires some patience and this is where the long-term investors win because long-term investors are already hardened and trained on this patience and patience is truly a virtue when it comes to the stock market and I think as investors mature that's something that they will learn to become better at which is just having patience separating your emotions from the market and when you have conviction it's a lot easier to do those things and when you do your research it's a lot easier to do those things so it's important to emphasize with a lot of fear in the market that Tesla is 
is not for the weak investors. It's not for those that cannot handle volatility. It's not for the impatient. I mean, you could say that it's not for short-term investors, but there have been short-term investors make money off of Tesla, but it is more of a long-term investment. If you actually want it to be worth its current share price, you pretty much have to be investing for the long-term because the current share price factors in a lot of things in the future. So that's important to keep in mind. And so I'm just trying to give out a few key pieces of information that I think is important and relevant regarding Tesla stock and the common mindset that people have who invest in Tesla stock. And so regardless, you all know that I don't mind either way, whether the stock goes up or down in the short term, it doesn't make a difference for me. And when we have days like today, I simply just take advantage of them. So red days don't really bother me at all. I do enjoy the green days and I get excited on the really big green days as well. But when it comes to the more negative side of investing, when it comes to losing money or unrealized losses, then it's just not that bad of a thing when you think about how you can take advantage of those situations and use them to your advantage by taking the opportunity of buying shares at a discount in which it's at a lower price than it previously wasn't at. So even though I'm giving this information and trying to be a little bit encouraging for those investors that are a little bit on the fence and are either considering buying Tesla stock or possibly considering selling it. I'm just trying to give some valuable information that I think the sooner people learn to separate their emotions from the market and learn to be a long-term investor and learn to try to take advantage of the red days, then I think this will be helpful for those investors to grow and mature. And obviously, you all know that I don't mind either way. I mean, it's up to everybody what they want to do with their Tesla shares, but I'm just saying I'm going to be one of the people on the sidelines that is looking for that opportunity to buy some shares whenever I can get a chance to do so. So like I said, anybody can do what they want with their Tesla shares, but I know exactly what I'm doing with mine, which is holding them for the long term and buying as usual dollar cost averaging. You know the strategy. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to smash that like button. And also feel free to check out Robinhood and Weeble in the description below. If you sign up with my referral link, you'll get some free stocks. And especially with Weeble right now, you can get one free stock valued up to $1,600 if you use my referral link and deposit $100 into your account. Keep in mind, you can take that $100 deposit right back out after you get your free stock. Just want to let you all know about that, but hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.